Hi friends, uh, in the last session uh, we have seen how to handle the drop down fields and also how to handle the radio buttons. So now uh, in these sessions uh, I would like to explain you how to retrieve the uh, list of values that are present inside a drop down. So here uh, if you could uh, see in the Facebook registration page, here we have a month drop down, day drop down and year drop down okay inside the month drop down we have uh, these many values we have totally 12 values from january to december uh, in the same way uh, for the day drop down field we have the values uh, from 1 to 31 similarly for year also we have some values so in this uh, uh, session i would like to explain you how to retrieve this list of values from the drop down okay so now let us see that uh, with the help of Selena web driver. So in the Eclipse, uh, I have created a Java class with the name retrieving the values from the drop down. Okay. So after that, uh, uh, this I am creating an instance for the Firefox uh, driver because I want to execute uh, this program on Firefox browser. So after that, uh, it will maximize the browser. After that, uh, I am now getting to the Facebook URL using this command. Okay, so now my intention is uh, to get the list of values from this uh, drop down. Okay, now uh, let us uh, let us check the uh, properties of this web element. So click on the Firebug. So after that, uh, click on this arrow mark and highlight uh, this uh, month drop down okay so uh, if you could observe in the file bug so it is highlighting a uh, month drop down okay so uh, here you can observe a plus symbol and so here this id is equal to month so this is the property of this whole uh, month web element okay so now what i will do here is so i will uh, get this web element and it will store uh, this in a, a web element interface okay so now what i will do here is so i will identify that a uh, web element so i will say uh, driver dot find element by so i want to find out this by id okay so now uh, let us uh, see the id of that uh, drop down field so this is the id of that uh, month drop down field So here I have given, I have identified that uh, by using the ID. Okay. So now uh, what this statement does is, this statement simply identify this whole drop down field and so it will return a web element object. Okay. So now I will uh, store that uh, web element object in a web element reference. So web element. So let's say this is a month drop down. So I am giving this as a month drop. Okay. So this uh, web element is an interface, and uh, this will uh, give an object here. So I am storing this uh, web element object in the uh, month drop reference. Okay. So this web element is an interface. So now let us import this. So click on this okay so this will import the statement uh, this will import the interface uh, from the selenium uh, org dot open qa dot selenium dot web element okay so this interface is present in this uh, package okay so now uh, we have imported that to uh, eliminate the error so now uh, so we will identify the web element from this uh, uh, by using this id and we have stored that in the month drop down object month drop object okay so now this uh, month drop object is pointing uh, the whole uh, this whole uh, drop down okay so if you go to the fire bug and if you observe this so here see here we have a, a plus symbol here and you click on that plus symbol so that means we now just uh, uh, got this whole object and we have pasted that in the month drop variable okay so inside this drop down again we have these uh, sub elements okay 
So inside this month drop down again we have 13 web elements with the tag name option okay so this is the big web element inside that big web element again we have uh, uh, other 13 web elements with the tag name option okay so if you want to visualize that with the help of a diagram that would be looks like this So now uh, let us assume that uh, this is our month drop of web element okay uh, which now we have uh, uh, stored in the month drop reference okay so this month drop is nothing but uh, this whole uh, web element okay this whole web element okay so that is uh, uh, we have identified this object and we have placed that in month drop object okay so the month drop object looks like this so whenever you click on this plus symbol again inside that month drop again we have these many web elements stored okay so uh, this looks like this inside this month drop again we have the following web elements so we are having option and let's say here the month uh, first one is month option so so up to we have month we have january and feb March up to we have December okay so now uh, what we have identified here is uh, this month drop is a big uh, object inside that big uh, web element object again we have a sub uh, web elements okay so with the tag name option okay so inside this month drop again we have 13 web elements whose tag name is option okay so now what we have done is we have uh, stored the big uh, web element in the month drop okay so now what i will do is uh, inside this month drop again we are having a 13 uh, sub web elements with the tag name option okay now i will uh, uh, i will try to find out those uh, sub web elements within this big uh, web element so i will say month drop dot so find web elements okay so I am saying here web elements, I am not saying here web element because inside this month drop we have 13 web elements with the tag name option, okay. So now we will say find web elements by tag name. So what is the tag name here? For those 13 web elements we have the tag name as option, okay. So now I will here, uh, I will give the tag name as option here okay so now what uh, this does is it simply get all the 13 web elements uh, from this uh, uh, big uh, web element and it will give a list of uh, web elements with the tag name option okay so now what i will do is i will store uh, these elements in a list because it will return a list of 13 web elements so i have to store that in another uh, list object so i will say uh, list and uh, i am giving the list object name as months okay so now uh, i i have to import this uh, list so it, it is an interface which is present in the java.util so i am importing that uh, interface here and also we know that the type of elements that we are storing in list is a web element okay the type of the objects that we are storing in the list is web element so i will give here the type as web element okay so now uh, so it also we have to import this so now uh, in the months uh, web element we have 13 uh, sub web elements with the tag name option so now what i want to do is so i want my intention is uh, to get uh, these values okay but 
in this object months we have uh, these uh, sub web elements okay so now what i will do is i will iterate through the uh, this uh, months uh, list and i will get the value one by one so now what i will do here is i will say for in i equal to zero i less than months uh, dot size uh, which gives the number of elements in the uh, list and i will say i plus plus so after that so i want to uh, get the first web element uh, so uh, basically my uh, intention is to iterate uh, to that uh, list object and want to get the value one by one so i will say uh, months dot get off i okay so what this does is it will simply give the first web element so in the list totally we have these are 13 web elements stored so for the first time when you say uh, month start get of i so this is the first element which you will get here okay i will get uh, this whole uh, web element but my intention is to get this text okay so my intention is not to uh, select this whole web elements when you say month start get of i so you will be getting this first web element okay but my intention is to get the uh, data inside that uh, web element okay so in order to get the value or the data project inside that web element so i have to call a method get text here so i am calling get text method here okay so now what uh, this does is it simply uh, give you the Uh, data that is present in the first uh, sub web element with the tag name option so i will store that in some string string let's say give this as a value okay after that i will print that i will say system dot out dot print ln so i am printing the value so now uh, let us run this program so uh, this for the first time you will get this a uh, month value and the, in the second iteration it will uh, retrieve this uh, whole web element so in the second iteration so it will uh, retrieve this uh, whole web element from that we will get the john similarly in the third iteration we will get february so like that we will get up to december so now let us run this so run as click on java application opening up the uh, firefox browser and it has maximized the firefox browser and it has now get the facebook url so after that uh, now uh, let us go to this uh, eclipse and see here so it has successfully printed all the uh, values that are present in the month drop down okay so we have got the values from month to december okay so uh, this is the idea behind retrieving the elements uh, from a drop down so the same logic can be applied for any drop down okay similarly by using the same logic you can also select the or you can also retrieve the values from the days uh, drop down year drop down or whatever may be the drop down so this is the logic uh, which we have to use okay so that's it uh, in this session so in the next session i would like to explain you how to handle the alerts okay thank you guys